Hi everyone, it is time to trellis my tomatoes and my cucumbers. Ever since I converted our raised bed into a container garden, I've been trying to figure out how to set up a trellising system in my containers. This system has to be portable so that I can easily set it up and break it down at the end of the season. It has to be easy to install and strong enough to support the plants. I found a system of stakes and component pieces that allows me to customize a trellis to meet my needs. Let me show you what I came up with. Stay tuned. Let me show you the system that I'm testing out this season. This system is made by a company called Orgrimmar. They have a garden support stake system that I purchased on Amazon and it comes with four component parts. The first part are the stakes and they come in different sizes. These are 60 inch stakes as well as these component pieces. Now between the component pieces and the stakes you can make a wide range of trellises and plant support cages. Let's take a closer look at the component pieces in this system. This is called an A-type connector this part can provide the necessary angles from zero to 70 degrees for making a plant cage. So I'll be using this with my trellising today. You can see the openings here where the top of the stakes enter. And you have a clip at the very top where you can place another stake that goes horizontally. This is called a universal buckle. It helps to stabilize two overlapping stakes in different angles. So basically you just snap the stakes into these openings okay, and it pivots in the middle. Finally, we have a cylindrical connector that's open all the way through it. And this is used to connect two stakes on either end when you need to increase the length of a stake. The trellis I'm making today is going to be seven feet. Now remember, the reason I'm going to this system is for portability, something that I can set up very quickly and then take down at the end of the season. Now, in order to do that, I have to put the trellis into the pot. Now, the longest stakes I can find at the home improvement stores are these six foot stakes, which is not long enough. So I was debating uh, between seven and eight feet, and so I'm deciding to go with seven feet. In order to do that, this system allows me to join two stakes. So here's the four foot stake, and here is one that I cut down and I connected it with this cylindrical connector. So I've, I've already done that one. So let me show you how that is accomplished. Here are the two stakes that I'll be joining to make a seven foot stake. And in order to do that, you take a connector and place it on one end of the a, of a stake. And then you take the other stake and place it into the other side of the connector. And so it's not all the way um, pushed in. So what I like to do is to take this and just simply tap it onto the ground. And there it goes. Okay. So now we have one long seven foot stake. The plan for this trellis is to have three sets of vertical supports and one horizontal support that the twine will be supported from and that twine will go down to the plant. So I have my seven foot uh, stakes here. I will place them down through the pot along the, uh, the side and then connect it at the top with the A-type connector. So I have one set of vertical supports here, another set here, and a third set here. Then what I'll do is I'll take another stake and go across the top for a horizontal support that will insert into the clips. So the next step is to take twine, anchor it down to the soil with these staples, run it from the bottom of the tomato plant to the top and tie the twine off at the top support. Then 
take tomato clips, clip it to the twine, and then around the plant. Okay, I tied off the twine to the stake, and I'll place the stake right next to the plant. Okay, so now that that's secure, I'm going to go ahead and run this twine up to the horizontal support. I'm going to run my twine up here to the horizontal support and tie it off. So I'm going to put a knot in here that I can come back in and untie easily in order to tighten up the twine if I need to. Okay. The next step is to take these tomato clips. Now, at the hinge, there is a piece on either side of the hinge that grabs the twine. So I am going to place the tomato clip right here because I'm going to pinch off this leaf and this sucker. You want to make sure that that twine goes firmly back against the hinge. You want to place this right below a leaf node and then clip it together. Let's take a closer look at this tomato clip. Here you can see that the hinge portion of the clip is grabbing onto the twine so it's not moving up and down. And the loop portion is right below a leaf node. So I decided to put these stakes in at an angle to brace the vertical supports. And so I used this connector here to connect the brace at an angle with the vertical support. So now this trellis is very, very stable. It barely moves now. I'm really happy with the way this tomato trellis turned out. Number one, it was really easy to install with this uh, system that I'm using. It's very, very stable. And most importantly, it is portable. Once the season's over, I can easily take it down, use the parts over again, season after season. And I'll give you an update on how it's working over the course of the summer. Okay, thanks so much for watching.